we will look today into factorizing algebraic expressions. Factorizing comes from the mathematical term factor. Let me remind you that the number 12 has factors. 1, because it can be divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. These are factors. We can write 12 as, for example, 3 times 4. Or we can write it as 6 times 2. These are factors. Factors are two numbers that we multiply. Opposite to the word, mathematical word term, and terms are numbers that we add. For example, 5 can be written as 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2, because we add them, they are called terms. To fix a bit the terminology, uh, in algebraic expressions we can have, for example, 2x minus 3x squared plus 5xy. These are terms, 2x minus 3x squared and plus 5xy are called, are called terms because we add them. 2x is the same as plus 2x. Don't forget to take the sign. If it's plus, we can omit it. 5xy, the term here 5xy, has the factors, three factors, 5x and y are factors of this term. Let's go back on how to factorize algebraic expressions. So we'll take an example of expanding a bracket. If we have, for example, three brackets, 2x plus 5. In order for us to expand these brackets, we said that we look at these two terms. So we have a term 2x and we have a term plus 5. And 3 will go inside and will multiply by each of them. So we will have 3 times 2x, which gives me 6x. And 3 times 5, which gives me plus 15. So the operation of expanding goes from the brackets in that direction sorry the operation of factorizing goes in opposite way if i am given the expression 6x plus 15 i need to find what brackets did i multiply or what number did i multiply over a bracket to get this expression and the way i would do it would be exactly opposite to what I'm doing now. I'm thinking that 6x comes from 2 times 3 times x. And 15 comes from 3 times 5. So I break each of the two terms into their smallest factors. Now, I actually don't need this. Let's not make it confusing. Now I look at common between the two terms are 3 and 3. These are common. So I'll just write 3 in front and then what I'm left with. If you omit this 3 because you put it already in front, you are left with 2x plus 5. So see, I omit the 3 here, I ignore it and I copy everything as 2x plus and that's exactly our starting expression. So remember that factorizing is the opposite of expanding brackets and you need to put in front of the brackets all possible terms. Let's take one more example. Let us factorize 14y minus 12. So we see here two terms, 14y is one term, minus 12 for negative 12 is the second term. I'm going to break each of them in their smallest factors. 2 times 7 times y minus 14 is, uh, 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. What is common between the two is the two, the two terms is 2. So I'm going to write the 2 in front 
and I'm left with 7y minus 6. So as I said, I put the 2 in front. I don't write it anymore, and I copy everything else. Now, if you open the bracket back, you'll see that you get your initial uh, expressions. Let us factorize 63v squared plus 72v. 63 is 3 times 3 times 7 times v times v. That's 63v squared. 72 is 9 times 8, so I have 2, 3 times. You can use a factor 3 times 3 times 3 times v. What is common between them? A 3 is common. 1 more 3 is common. Yeah? Look, this is your first term and this is your second term. And I also have a v that is common. So my expression will be 9v, 3 times 3 times v, and what do I have left? I wrote the 9 and the v, and I have left 7v plus 8. And that's completely factorized. Some students will just notice a 3, and will, will starting from here, they might write 3 brackets, uh, 21v squared plus 8 times 324v. That's correct, that's not a mistake, but this notice is not fully factorized. So it's, your answer is incomplete. Some I notice that I can put a v in front and write v bracket 63v plus 72. That same, it's correct, but not fully factorized. So this will be your correct answer. This is fully factorized. Here I'll take three more examples. What if we have 14 d to the power of 13 minus 6 d to the power of 6? So following the same method, 14 is 2 times 7, and now I will have d times d 13 times. I can write I can write 13 of them. So this will be 13 times. 13 d's, right? Minus, and 6 is 2 times 3 times, and I will have d times d. How many d's I'm going to have? 6 d's. So this one is 6 times. Now, if we look at the common parts, we will have two which is common, and we also have quite a few these that are common. How many these are common? Since here we have 13 these, and here we have six these, we'll have six common these. So I'll have two d to the power of six in front, bracket seven times, and I have 13 these, I put 6 outside, so I will have 7 left, 13 minus 6, which I put outside, minus 3. I have no d left here because I put all 3 outside, so that's my fully factorized form. How about this expression? Minus 2 times 2 times 2 times m squared, m times m, p cubed. plus, okay, I have a problem in the space, 6 is 2 times 3 times m, and then I will have, so see, it becomes quite tedious to write all five of them. That's why it's good to get a rule, a generalized rule, and look at the indices. So 2 is common, and I have some m's which are common, 1, one m is common, and then I have some p's that are common. How many p's I have in common? One, 
two bees that are common and one more there are three so my answer is two m p cubed because there are three of them brackets four m plus three p squared we can check by opening the brackets back eight m squared p cubed correct oh i forgot the minus see how that's why it's always good to check i still have a minus left here which i forgot to copy in the bracket so minus 4m when i open the bracket a minus 8m squared p cubed correct plus 6m p to the power 5 that's correct and now the last one which is a bit tricky though it looks simple it's not complicated it's just tricky 3x squared 3 times x times x plus x what do i have in common is only an x so, so <clears throat> the x will go in front and i'm left with 3x see if this x goes in front i'm left with 3x plus what well the most common mistake is when students say zero here but actually this x is one x so you can imagine here that you have one times one it's not times zero x times zero will give me zero it will not be there it's one x so i am left with an one now if you open the bracket you'll see that it works 